course, a lot went into planning for this presidential visit to Austin today. Security, there was a lot to do with that. Businesses were also affected. Our Brian Sanders is live in downtown Austin now to fill us in on some of the excitement around this event. Brian. Hey, good evening, Leslie. President Obama's visit here lasted well over an hour. You can see now, though, it is just wrapping up. Some supporters just filing out of the Austin Music Hall. We'll try and set the scene for you outside a little bit earlier. Austin police and other law enforcement arrived by the busloads, creating about a two to three block barrier around the venue. The motorcade then arrived about 440, came up San Antonio and cut off in the alleyway behind the Ballet Austin building. Supporters started lining up early in the afternoon afternoon around 1 o'clock waiting to get in and by 3 o'clock the line was wrapped all the way around the block. Congressman Lloyd Doggett among the crowd helping lead the charge. Well, I think here in Central Texas, I've seen a great deal of enthusiasm about this trip. The turnout we have here today, there's no doubt that many people will be voting with their pocketbook as well as their time to try to see the money. You know, I'm hopeful for the day when uh, this president and other, other Democratic presidents will campaign in Texas when this becomes a blue state. I think we're well on our way to that, and our vote here in Travis County is what's going to help make that difference. I need to know. Protesters have been relatively quiet until just recently when they arrived and shouts of four more years and no more war volleying back and forth between the two groups. From here, President Obama will go to the Four Seasons for a more private fundraiser, but the theme here is the increased support that President Obama has seen here in Central Texas. We'll see if it pays off in November. Live downtown, Brian Sanders, KXAN News.